I recently showed that I found a way to scribble in real time on screen in OBS Studio. So let me show you how I did it. Figure out what you want to use in order to do the scribbling. In my case, I'm using my Samsung Galaxy tablet. So it's wireless, it's cool, it runs on batteries, it has Wi-Fi, it's great. Which means that I can also display other stuff, not just the scribble part. If you're gonna be using the exact same technique that I am using, that means an iPad will work, a mobile phone will work, no matter what it is. I mean, a smartphone at least. But I'll also show you how to do it if you want to use a graphics tablet that you plug into your computer. Let's get right into it. Find a way to capture your screen. In my case, I'm using this cool app called VOD Ninja. It allows me to capture what's on my screen and send it to a web browser. Once it starts broadcasting, it'll give you a link. From there, you can put the link in your OBS Studio as a browser source. Just paste the link in there and set the size to 1080p. It can also broadcast the audio, which is pretty awesome. And you can see it appear even though it's in portrait mode. Don't worry about that. So what I'm gonna do now is find an app where I can scribble with a black background. In my case, I can use the Samsung Notes. And you can see this is from the video that I posted. And yeah, all I had to do is just zoom in a little bit and bloop, now I have a completely black background on which I can scribble on. All right, and from there I can just start scribbling and you'll see it appear on screen. Now it's not perfect, it depends on your internet connection. There's a bunch of parameters that you can add to the link to make the quality even better. But for my case, I don't really need it. It's just scribbling, you know? All right, now how do I add this to my webcam? I'm gonna add my webcam, there it is. And then we're gonna use some filters to basically apply that source, the browser source, to the camera using blending modes. In our case, we can use the shader filter plugin. So I'm gonna go to filters. Of course, you need to have the shader filter plugin installed. I'm gonna go click plus user defined shader, click okay, load shader text from file, browse, and I'm just gonna pick the first one, which is add, which is some sort of blending mode that basically makes everything dark disappear and it maintains the highlights of whatever you're adding. So I loaded the shader, it'll say other image. Now just pick your source. We have browser four and there it is. It is technically that simple. <laughs> now, of course, we don't want to see the borders, so there's a couple of ways to get rid of them. My first instinct the first time was to crop it, so I would hold Alt, drag the sides, and um, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work, you're gonna see. So when I turn the camera on, it just doesn't apply because this is just cropping it. It's not actually affecting the source within the shader. So you can probably use a mask or a filter that would crop it, but to keep it simpler, I can just right click, put it in a group, call this group, blah, 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 blah. and then in the shader filter plugin effect, just select that group instead of the source, right? So other image is going to be, it should be very visible. <laughs> Now it's that group. Now it's showing you everything that's visible within the group, which means that now if I crop it, so now if I crop our browser four, we should see the effect in real time. It's gonna move it a little bit, but don't worry too much about that. And there you go. And that's how you get it done. So you can absolutely do this with your phone. It's pretty much the same principle, but I don't know why you would want to, whatever, do whatever you want. Now for people who have graphics tablets plugged into their computers, how would you do it? Same principle, find a black canvas that you can draw on and you will do a window capture. And for that, we need the most sophisticated software ever made, MS Paint. So we kind of need a 16 by nine ish canvas. What was the main principle? Black background. By the way, if you wanna draw in black on top of it, you just need a different blending mode. Um, multiply, I believe would work. Paint bucket tool, boom. Go back to OBS Studio. We can turn this group off for now. Let's add a window capture. Let's call this one paint. And uh, there it is, already. So without wasting time, I'm immediately gonna put this in a group. I'm gonna call this one. And then I'm gonna crop it. Hold Alt, drag the sides, a little bit here, nice. Cool, now you can center it. Let's put the camera on top of that. And then in the filter, okay, we're just gonna pick our to -to 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 -to. Where is it? Should be visible, there it is. And look at that, we don't, we don't even see the difference. I don't even see the difference. So what I can do now is basically go in MS Paint and I'm on a single monitor, okay? <laughs> but this is what it would look like. There it is. And of course, this is OBS Studio and we're using plugins and all that. We can make this like animated if we want to. 
for some reason. Let's select our paint thing and let's make it, I don't know, glitch a little bit. Shader filter plugin, load shader from file, chroma UV distortion. <laughs> That's kind of wild. That is kind of wild. So now, not only can scribble, but you can make it even cooler. And of course, other colors will work too, but remember that using you're using a blending mode. So if you have darker colors, they'll appear like less. And there you have it. I had a specific use case for it and I thought, okay, no one else will need this, but you guys were coming up with great ideas on Twitter. So there you go. Now you know how to do it. Go follow me on Twitch, go out there, make me proud, get a level, out.